Dr. Guilian, uh, what's the purpose of the school? The purpose of the school is to bring together uh, young researchers, uh, mainly PhD students, and uh, international experts who are going to lecture for a couple of days and uh, uh, teach, teach the young students. Who has organized it? The school has been organized by the Center of Materials and Microsystems of FPK together with the University of the Trento. Uh, the school has a long story. So this is the seventh edition. And uh, typically uh, the school is held each time in, an, in a nice place, probably a skiing resort or a, a beautiful place in, uh, in Trentino. How many scientists? have come and where they came from? Uh, so the school itself is an international school and uh, we have uh, about uh, 55 uh, to 60 young students among which uh, the majority is PhD students uh, and uh, others are uh, master students or uh, young researchers already got PhD. So they come from practically everywhere, uh, mainly from Europe. Uh, we have something like 20% Italian uh, students from Italy, uh, from Japan, from United States and uh, almost all over the world. Uh, what's the focus uh, of this winter school? Uh, in particular this year we decided to make the school uh, on optical resonators. These are uh, uh, very tiny optical devices that are uh, going to be the future of the uh, of the computers for the, in the future, since uh, optics is much faster, is uh, mm, you can uh, realize much much smaller devices. Uh, this means that uh, in the future computers will be all optical, and uh, we are on the way already. Uh, I notice many many young scientists, and a, a lot of them are women. What's going on on physics? Uh, probably not changing fast enough. So um, while there have been more um, participation of women in physics, um, it's still relatively low, you know, 15, 20 percent. It'd be nice to get it closer to 50 percent. Uh, why it's not happening faster is, you know, a lot of people have many reasons, but I'd like to see it happen faster. <laughs> and can you explain us what are the optical devices and their importance on uh, people's life? So probably where they're going to have the most importance, they've already had importance, which is, you, you could argue that, that the internet, the reason the internet exists, why, why people are using it all over the world, is due to optical communications, the ability to send signals over long distances very efficiently and very, to be able to send very large amounts of data. And that's going to continue to have effect on people's lives because now what the people are seeing is that even within a computer, some, in the near future, you're going to need to be able to communicate using optical devices and so on. And so being able to develop that technology, that's going to have a you know, big impact on people's lives because uh, almost all the computers that are used, let's say, by Google or Amazon are all going to have to have these photonic devices in there.